all of our weapons have to be launched from either the shoulder, a static launcher or a, a vehicle. So what we're standing in front of at the moment is uh, a mock-up of our lightweight multi-role missile. What we have in, in our, each of our missiles is a first stage motor. And the first stage motor just pops the missile out to a safe distance from the operator so that there's no efflux hitting the, the operator by the time the second stage motor ignites. The second stage motor then boosts the missile up to its maximum velocity, in this case, about Mach 1.5. Uh, and then it is guided through laser beam writing guidance towards the target. And laser beam writing guidance is really quite straightforward. You project the laser beam into, into space. Uh, the operator controls the direction of the laser beam and there are sensors on the back of the missile and they know exactly where they should be in that beam. And as the beam moves, the missile follows. So we have what we call our control actuation system in here and that's really the brains of the entire missile so that that takes the missile from point a to point b out to the target now the weapon itself has a really fantastic warhead on board it's called a blast fragmentation warhead and what it has uh, is a capability for punching through rolled homogeneous armor now, you, you won't see me straining there because I'm looking pretty macho trying to do this, but this is exceptionally dense material. And for us, you'll see that the hole through the center of that where the shape charge blasts, and our system will actually go through almost six of those. So it has a really good armor piercing capability. Not a tank killer, it's never designed to be that, but most of the armor on Battlefield is not a tank. Uh, the vast majority of it is APCs, other light vehicles, or in the air, it's helicopters, drones, uh, and aircraft, which have not got the same armor capability as tanks do. So this weapon from a, a pure uh, capability from blast fragmentation and shape charge is quite phenomenal. The other aspect of it on that blast fragmentation, if I can show you this, this is a, a typical armor plate. You'll see lots of holes in it. So uh, those holes are created by the, the blast effect and the fragmentation effect of our, our warhead, which has lots of ball bearings on board. So when the system detonates, then it's, it sends a scatter of those ball bearings uh, into space, hopefully near the target. Uh, so the combination of that shape charge, blast and fragmentation is what does the damage. So it's a pretty best in class warhead.